you. I hate you. Stay with me and I'll give you a reason to change your mind. But I hate you. Time to go get Hank. Guys, it's great to see you. <laughs> Have a good day, Doc. Y'all stay safe out there. Ooh, now I'm looking fresh. Let's suck the day's dick. Never say that again and take your foot off of my couch, please. You're right. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So where did you meet this bird again? Paul Giamatti's birthday party? Yeah, I had no clue that Paul Giamatti had friends this cute. <laughs> and what's Paul Giamatti's real name again? Glenn Danzarski. Yeah, Paul Giamatti's more fitting. Oh yeah.
is this really necessary? And so everyone knows that you're a third party watching my flashback. Yeah, but everybody out there can't see me. No, but they can. Okay, you got a point. Uh, so uh, what was your pickup line? Didn't need one. So we had mutual friends other than Paul Giamatti, so we were bound to have an encounter at any point in this small ass town. We matched on a dating app back during Christmas. Are you serious? Are you, are you serious? <sighs> she needed to talk first on the app and she didn't. The match expired 24 hours later. I will never forgive what your father did to my mother. We have the same mo- No! No! So have you guys ever heard of a cat? How are you? Good! Oh my goodness. Letting the whole fiasco go, but I told the story about the noodle incident to the party goers, and she walked up right when I said the punchline. The noodle incident? Man, I've never been covered in so much sauce before. Dude, I know. <laughs> okay, that threw me off a little bit. Wait till you see what I can throw with these arms. Okay, that's kind of a pickle one. Flower pots, couches, bags of concrete, smart cars. Hmm, you should be a comic book character. How do you know I'm not? Just like, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> hey! I was hoping you two would get a chance to meet. <laughs> yeah, we were just getting started. Uh, my name's Ian. Hi, I'm Anastasia. I'm, oh, I love it when my attractive friends meet. It makes me feel so much better about my, uh, oh, my current situation. Oh. Mm -hmm. Paul, you really are the sweetest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, do you want me to hit it outside? No, no. No, it's... Oh. it's <laughs> so, we start going over common interests and whatnot. So tell me your favorite movie. Mm, Red Dragon. Wait, Red Dragon? Isn't that a Brett Ratner movie? Yeah. That guy sucks. Dude, I know. She obviously hasn't seen Manhunter. Have you ever seen Manhunter? No, is it good? It's Red Dragon, of course it's good. The fuck you mean? It's Red Dragon. All right, this is the first adaptation of Thomas Harris's Red Dragon. Michael Mann adapted the screenplay and directed this years before he did Heat, Last of the Mohicans, uh, Collateral. Um, he was in the middle of doing Miami Vice in the 80s, so this was even before Silence of the Lambs. Okay, I know Miami Vice, rolled up sleeves, white collars, Cocaine. That's the one. Uh, I should have you over to my house and cook you dinner and we can watch Manhunter while we eat. Deal. So that was your in. Almost. I can't believe your family's from the res. Yeah, I mean, they're not here. They're out in Oklahoma, but I go out and see them whenever I get the chance. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to explain res life to white people. They can never wrap their minds around anything outside of friends or... Grand's dressing, ugh. 
Uh, hey guys, I just want to let you know that we're about to. Hey. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Oh, well, uh, before Paul lost consciousness, he told me a secret. Really? What was it? Come here. Hey, buddy! Mm. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Mm. Bar time, pimp. <laughs> oh, yeah! Maybe one day it'll be like it always comes back to you. Yeah, exactly. Just like my father's alcoholism. Whiskey, one bloody mirror. I don't think that's big enough. Really? This is only the large. I could have gotten the XL. Oh, God. You're gonna be on the floor by the time you finish that thing. Fuck that, dude. I got all the major food groups here. Okay, so when did she come over? Uh, I finally talked her into coming over after about a week later. The undies! Shit! Wow, you, you look, you look, you look beautiful. Yeah, she looks good. Really good. What? This old thing? Ugh. I mean, it's new to me. So? Am I just gonna stand out here and freeze? Or are you gonna let me in? You can stand there if you want. Your smile is glowing really nicely under the sunset. Well, this expression can change real quick, buddy. All right, let's change that expression. No! Let me go! Ian! So what did you make her? Pork fried rice. She insisted on making some miso with it. So what did Tennessee? Excuse me? The same thing, Arkansas. Oh, you fucker! Quit yelling at me, you're not my dad. Yet. Guys, dude, your fried rice is bomb as fuck. Her miso was bomb as fuck. Dude, I'm telling you, she had the magic touch. Okay, always. So anyway. We ate our meal, we got to know each other a little bit more. Uh, she was telling me how she was pulling in work in Montana in a couple weeks. Ugh. Traveling is my favorite thing. I want to see all 50 states before I'm 40. And I sure seem to be on the right track. Uh, yeah, how many states have you seen so far? Mm, around 28. You haven't seen Montana yet? No, this will be my first time going. Have you been there? Yes. Really? No, I'm lying. You're an asshole. Dude, you are an asshole. Um, I do know that there's a lake monster in Montana. Um, Flathead Lake tends to shake boats and harass baby boomers. Only baby boomers? I mean, they are the demographic that tends to cry the most. Okay, you caught me there. They do tend to cry a lot. <laughs> Am I boring you? Okay, weird. I just Googled the distance from my work at the resort to Flathead Lake. <gasps> How far is it? <laughs> Five miles. What the fuck? 1.2 miles. That's great. You should check it out. <sighs> Will you come with me? Sure, uh, there's a Greyhound that'll take me to Montana, fuck it. Uh, probably can get dropped off over there in Bozeman. Oh, well if you can get to Bozeman, then I can get you the rest of the way! I think that's a plan, Stan. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to go to Montana. 
motherfucker, you literally just got back from Europe. You took a train straight to here. Yeah, but they didn't have any uh, have cool lake monsters or anything. That sounds way cooler. What? I'm not done yet. Okay, to it, Pip. But did you do the movie after eating? We did a few shots before. This chick is hardcore. Dude, what is with all of these avian comparisons? This is love, this isn't bird flu. Oh, is my slang hurting you? Yes, yes it is. And then he gets him with the glass! Oh, oh. Isn't this fun? Yeah. Oh. You know these antics couldn't work with anyone else. I mean, I'm just glad that she dug it. Uh, that Michael Mann does it better than anyone else. So, did you do Lambs or Hannibal after? <laughs> uh, neither. I had to take a 10 minute piss after. <sighs> Sorry about that, I had coffee this morning and it gives me the bladder of a 70 year old man. Oh god, do you want me to hang this up? I don't want it to get dirt. Oh wow! Here, big boy! I'm coming! <laughs> I need another drink, oh my god. You ain't the only one, Chief. Oh, so was it a done deal after that? I don't I don't know what I want in my life right now. I'm starting to feel vulnerable with you and it gets me worried I haven't had a great track record with men so the gentleman suitors turned out to be ungentlemanly eh every single one of them cheated on me all of them all of them even the last one suggested we go to couples therapy to try and fix things yeah, I went to couples therapy with an ex. I got a lot from it. I don't think she did. It was when he showed up drunk to a session that really made me dump his ass. I even made him take the bus home. <laughs> I get that. Hmm? I have a lot of shit going on in my life. And I don't know what I can give you in the long run. Hey, you don't have to give me anything. Just getting to know you is a gift. I'm good with it. I just like, I'd stick to dating women, but I like dick too much. You're all assholes, that's the downside. Come on now, let's go look on her end. But, but not all men. I wouldn't tell her or anyone else for that matter, not all men. Cause yeah, I am an asshole. But not all men. Dude, this is why you've got the worst track record with women. Hey, not that bad. Okay, so I, I don't always think things through. That's an understatement. Plus, not all men just has such needle dick energy to it. It does sound a bit whiny, doesn't it? That's an even bigger understatement. Okay, so what did you wind up saying? You're inspiring me to do my as good as it gets impression about now. Can you do Nicholson? You make me want to be a better man. Maybe you'll be a better mimic in time. <laughs> oh, Vern! 
But seriously, I don't want to give you any lines. You've already heard them all from all of the guys who have failed you. The only thing I can do is set the best example I can with the time that I'm given. It's a tall order, buddy. I mean, you deserve the best. You deserve more than that. You deserve the world. Well then... at exactly 11.55 p.m. April 20th. 420, place it! Right, exactly, I got you now. Uh, the anniversary of the town takes place on the 21st. Oh, place it, keep on blazing. Come on, blazing. We're not smoking, blazing. we... Blazing. Hey! Need your attention here, buddy. So, Violet Crown, was having an uh, having an anniversary date showing of the film. Uh, I hyped it up to her for five whole days straight. So by the time we were showing up to see the fog, she was way more excited than even I was. Are you ready to party or what, motherfucker? Hello, beautiful. How many shots did you two swallow before the movie? Five apiece. Nope. Was it on the way back? No, that was when we got back. <laughs> I think we need to talk about something. This is where the night gets a little blurry. What I thought she said was... I don't think I want to fuck you anymore. Excuse me? You heard me. I don't think I want to fuck you anymore. And where did this come from? Is it any of your concern? Maybe you should just deal with it. You could be my friend and that would be good enough. Then why the fuck are you even here? I've got enough friends. Maybe you should leave. I don't think she said that, dude. Yeah, I don't think she did. In my drunken haze, I got mixed up what she was trying to say and what I heard, so what I think she said was... I think we're taking things too fast. Excuse me? I'm not trying to put a damper on this night. I just think that we need to take a breath and let things cool down been a lot in a really short period of time. I, I want to do this right. Where did this come from? Can you talk about this when we're sober? I'm not trying to ruin this night. I'm really scared. And you and, and you're a really good friend, Ian. Then why the fuck are you here? I've got friends. You should just leave.
please tell me that's all you did. I don't want to lie to you. Are you still here? I thought I asked you to leave. Please. Can I just lie down for an hour? I, I, I don't think I can drive home yet. Why don't you sleep in your car? Please. I'm not trying to argue. And I thought I was clear. I'm not trying to make any extra friends. Why don't you leave me the fuck alone? Why do you have to be so mean? Are you sure you don't want any company out there? What part? of leave me alone do you not understand now fuck off goodbye ian I fucked up. I fucked up. I, I could have. I fucked up. Yeah, I mean, you. I. I. I you're blowing it out of proportion. Fucked. I, you, uh, yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. She won't talk to me. No matter what songs I send her, what poems I write her on the fly, I lost her. Oh, he's alive. Um, his lungs are only operating at 40% capacity, though. Well, it sounds like he's thriving. Can I, uh, read the letter? Don't get any grease marks on it. Oh! I thought we lost it in Spain. <sighs> Dear Anastasia, I'm going to start this by saying that I have been the most unmitigated and comprehensive asshole. You didn't deserve to see me in that state. I've been thinking a lot about the last time I saw you, the things I said, the things I couldn't hear you say, and the look on your face before you walked out for good. I'm not going to lie, it's kept me up many nights. If I had a time machine, I'd use it for selfish reasons. I wouldn't stop Hitler or rescue Christ. I'd go back to how awful that night ended. I'd put your hands in mine and tell you that I care. I'd tell you the few weeks we spent together were a gift. I'd tell you that it doesn't matter what you are to me. What matters is that you're around. Your presence in my life, however short, was the greatest gift I could ever ask for. When I said that you make me want to be a better man, it wasn't a lie. It was actually one of the times I've been the most genuine. 
I really hope I get to see you. I hope I can make you smile again. Most importantly, I hope you're happy and healthy. That matters more than my wants and needs could ever amount to. A thousand times, I'm sorry. And a thousand times more after that. Yours, Ian. P.S. If you find the Flathead Lake monster, take a picture. Said she's gonna be here tonight. Well, as far as I know. And it's my cousin. Just give me a sec. Yeah, I miss it too. Yeah. More away from the end. Yeah. Can you believe this fucking sh Stop, stop, stop. Just give me a second. Yeah, but she walks in with this other ugly chud. Hey, that's her, that's her choice. Yeah, but what about you? What about me? This love is mine, not hers. All because I can't share it with her doesn't make it any less special. It's still mine. I just wish it wasn't so hard. Sorry you won't get to see the Flathead Lake Monster, bud. Come on. Let's go. How drunk are you right now? I'm three sheets to the wind, pal. I've got a really shitty idea. I need you to make a distraction. I uh, know. Tommy? Tommy Archuleta? Yeah. Oh! It's really you! Holy fuck, brother! It's me! Hey. Joey! Benny Baca's cousin, mijo! Holy fuck, brother! It's been so long! How's the familia? They're good, they're oh, good. good. Yeah, you sure. You're so old now, look at you! Look at us! We're both men now. Goodbye, beautiful. I gotta go, Colonel. So good to see you. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. Take it easy on yourself. I had no fucking idea who that guy was.
where did you keep this sandwich at anyway? You don't want to know. Uh. Thank you, God bless. Thank you, God bless.